Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Steve Potter, and today we're learning about Slate Youth Build with Youth Build Coordinator, Joy Jones, and Youth Build Case Manager, Alan Perkins. And uh, I, I know there's a term you use that I want you to explain how it fits into what you do. I've heard you say the, the use the term cohort. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, honestly, cohort is nothing but a class. Um, that, that, that's how we operate. So. Um, with Youth Build, we, we operate with different classes. We bring anywhere from 20 to 25 students in uh, each session. We're a three-year program. Um, we operate on a grant, three-year program. And that means every kid or every person is in for three years? No. Okay. Actually, so um, our grant is three years. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, guess that's, I should have been, that says that a little bit better. Yes, our, so our grant is for three years, but um, each class is about nine months. And so when young people come in, our ages are 16 to 24, young people come in, they may come looking for a job, looking for training, or even looking to get their GED or their high school diploma. Uh -huh. And so that's what we offer. Uh -huh. Joy, yes. you said each, each class is nine months long? Yes. So do you have to complete the whole class? Is that required? Or? Well, the reason why it's shaped into nine months is because sometimes um, we have six months to complete everything. So that's the completion of the certification through mm -hmm. ranking. Sometimes it's their completion of their high set or their high school diploma, as well as finding employment. So we have three months for those individuals who have not reached those goals as well. Uh -huh. So when you talk about components of the Youth Build program, have we hit on those yet or is that something separate? I really want to talk more about our mentoring component okay. that we have. We've always done mentoring, but we recently received a grant where we're able to incorporate mentoring for our ages 16 through 17 year olds. Is that when you say mentoring, do you mean like a one-on-one -on -one thing? Yes, one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. We have mentors, 24-7 mentors. So we usually get a call at 3 a.m. where something is happening in one of the students' lives where they need one of their mentors to come and help. Huh. So, um, Can you think of an example of uh, that you could share with us about somebody that went to that mentoring program and that had some good outcome of it? Does anything come to mind? I mean, well, definitely. Um, we've, we've had several different success stories. One of my favorite ones is uh, when two of our students came in, um, they were re-entry, came in, worked, worked the program. They, they knew what they had, they knew what they wanted to do, set their goals, and they met them. They both got their GED. Um, they both got their certi certification in construction, and now they're both working for construction companies. Um, one of them is, has actually joined the apprenticeship school uh, for carpentry, and uh -huh. so they came, set their goal, have been inspiration to all of the other students. So that's that. That is just a huge, uh, a, a, a huge deal, and it makes makes me so proud. Right. Yeah, we actually just finished a completion ceremony for the first class of. Is that like a graduation? Yeah, pretty much like a graduation. Passing yeah. the torch. Passing the torch. That's what we called <laughs> it. Um, and so we celebrated all the accomplishments of our first class, um, and then they all. Then now they have welcome the second class um, and actually I say first class even though we've been around for four years yes. and so technically that was our eighth class uh -huh. and now we just we, we have just invited our ninth class in. Yeah you've mentioned a couple of like technical careers does it matter on what the uh, person's dream or career goal is can you help them no matter what direction they want to go? Yes yes we can I feel that like youth build is really good at helping them at no matter what goal they're trying to obtain because we're helping them with the fundamentals so a lot of the youth we're reaching don't have high school diplomas so we're we've just got a little time that. left but I know that there's a new program that yes. you want to talk a little bit about yes. oh yeah oh so so which is great you know helping them with those next steps this one's called true dream yes. true dream project is an initiative that was thought of and implemented through um, Slate's executive director, Dr. Alice Prince, and what is 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 a true dream of home ownership. Um, this is welcoming to. We are wanting to fight homelessness, the homeless uh, epidemic in the city, and so one of the ways we're doing that is uh, with Youth Build, along with partnership, hopefully with um, partnership with Habitat for Humanity. Um, the students are planning to build ten houses, five on the north side. Ten five, houses. Yeah, ten houses. Five on the north side, five on the south side of St. Louis. And what's great about it is that they're going to be, you know, be able to take home ownership classes and different things and learn, learn about it and then possibly be able to purchase their own home that they have built. Yes. Hmm. And is, is there a model program you're following? 
Honestly, we are we, we, we're getting a lot of help from Habitat from Humanity uh -huh. because, like I said, they they're tried and true, have done it so many times, and so yeah, we're getting a lot of help from them. They're helping us, you know, navigate through that. But like I said, it's it's really a, an awesome vision from Dr. Prince. Well, thank thank you both for being here today and keep up the good work. Thanks again. And Alan, keep working on those dance moves. You're doing pretty good. Always, always. You All right. Right there, right? <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Slate's Youth Build Program is what we've been talking today. We've learned about the Slate Youth Build Program with Youth Build Coordinator Joy Jones and Case Manager Alan Perkins. So, we hope that you'll take advantage of those opportunities and uh, contact them. You can uh, uh, call two numbers, 314-657-3624 or 314-277-6705 or go to stlworks.com. And when we see fall 2018, that's the, that's the new, a new class starts. Well, thank you both for being here, and we'll have more STL Live right after this.